This is my latest desk setup, a more industrial vibe, if you will. The space available got bigger, so naturally the desk itself got bigger too, and yet everything is still on a fairly tight budget. Despite this, in my opinion, the overall setup still looks clean and stylish, so let's take a look at what has gone into making this setup look the way that it does. So starting with that desk, it is the Ekback and Worktop in Dark Oak from Ikea. And the main reason I got this color was because it was by far the cheapest option available that still carried a dark wood design, which I personally really like. I accidentally got it in this outrageously long 246 centimeter edition, but boy was I happy with this mistake because the amount of desk real estate now available to me has been absolutely amazing. Supporting the table on one side is a pair of cheap Adele's legs, again from Ikea, and on the other side is an Alex drawer unit. And believe it or not, this drawer unit is actually the most expensive piece of furniture related to this desk setup. But there are reasons, of course, for that price tag, and that's firstly that they are the perfect height for any sitting desk setup, which is actually surprisingly hard to find. And they are also really premium, both in look and in fill. On top of that, they are also just great for keeping things off the table with five drawers being plenty of space for keeping things organized. Moving now to everything on the desk, and the first thing that you probably notice is that display. For this, we're still rocking the ASUS MX279H Full HD monitor, and it really is a beautiful looking monitor, and I've been very satisfied with it for the last over two years now, and I don't see myself upgrading from it anytime soon. Now, to keep things wire-free, I've gone with the Logitech K750 wireless keyboard in black, as well as the Logitech G602 gaming mouse to match, and I've been very happy with the performance of both. The keyboard in particular has been phenomenal because it is, in fact, solar-powered, and I hardly ever put this thing in direct sunlight, and yet it seems to last forever. Moving outward slightly from the monitor, and you'll be happy to know that I'm still using the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers, which I've also owned for over two years now. And once again, I'm happy to report that I have no plans of upgrading these anytime soon. The sound out of them is great, and they look really, really nice on just about any setup you use them in. Probably the biggest shock of them all is that I am still using this mid-2012 MacBook Pro, which I've been using since the beginning. I upgraded it with an SSD about a year ago now, which did spark some extra life into it, but this thing is probably the next on my list to be upgraded. It can't handle 4K without significant efficiency issues. Those fans do get pretty loud even with light tasks now, and it does unfortunately slow down my workflow a bit, and so I am thinking through some different options that will still keep things on a fairly tight budget. If you've got any thoughts on that, let me know in the comments below. What is new though is that stand that it's sitting in. This is the Wood Arc from SamD and it's super cheap from eBay, but very premium. And of course, everything I mentioned in this video, including the stand, will be linked down below. It keeps my MacBook Pro upright, which reclaims valuable desk space. And I just think it looks really clean in this setup. To the left of that is this cheap Kmart table lamp. There's nothing super special about it, but it really does give an otherwise industrial desk setup a bit more of a homely feel, which is needed when putting in long hours at the editing desk. Aside from that, you can probably tell that I love to throw a good amount of fauna on the desk for little pops of color. Now, I have a long history of killing plants despite trying anything and everything. So obviously each of these desk plants are fake, but I will link each of the ones I have or something similar down below if you're interested. And to round off the desk setup, we have the remaining peripherals. Firstly, I have that curved Blitzwolf USB hub next to the monitor, and this is mounted to the desk with a command strip. And this is in a position for quick and easy access, although I probably do need to think about grabbing a USB hub that is flat to keep it more securely mounted to the desk. But I do love that metallic design, which ties in very nicely to the monitor. Over on the far right of the desk is still the old and ever faithful Epson XP610 wireless printer. And I can't tell you enough about how valuable it is to have this thing for printing and scanning documents, which seems to be all the time at the moment. And even though this is a bit of an eyesore on the desk, it ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Plugged in pretty much permanently to my MacBook Pro is the T5 SSD from Samsung. This thing is amazing. It really has changed my workflow. I take it any time I go traveling and then plug it back in when I come home. And last but definitely not least, underneath the desk mounted to the underside is a Kingston Mobile Lite SD card reader, which gives me super convenient access to a port that I'm always in need of using as I import footage from my camera to my computer on a very regular basis. Aside from that, everything is fairly neatly cable managed underneath by using the IKEA Signum rack and by running certain cables in these little cable management loops that are nailed to the underside of the desk. 
Now, for those of you wondering what chair I use, this is a cheap chair from Kmart, but it's comfortable, sturdy, and looks nice within the overall look of the setup. But aside from that, that is my complete desk setup. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. What do you like about the setup? What do you think is missing? I'm always looking for ways to enhance the look and feel of my desk. So please have at it with your thoughts. Thank you guys very much for watching. And as always, I will catch you later.